What's up, guys? It's Xavier, another in the car review right here. Um, this movie review is it's called American Underdog, the Kurt Warner story. If you're in the football, you will pretty much know this story about the Kurt Warner's rise to his NFL stardom and the magical 1999 season. But this is not a biopic. This is not cradle, uh, cradle to grave type story. This is just an underdog uh, uh, ascension story. This is really uh, Zachary Levi's Kurt Warner. Uh, Anna Paquin as Brenda, who will turn out to be his wife. Spoilers, I'm sorry, it's real life. Um, the movie starts out as Kurt Warner's in college in Northern Iowa, and he's a four a four year play. He was fifth year senior on the bench. He doesn't have a lot of starts. He wants to get in the game. He does have his opportunities every now and again. He only has two starts, but the two starts he had, you know, he ambitiously tries to put game film together, which doesn't work for him because he can't put game film together off two games. It's not enough tape to say his, his college coach is a real stickler you know in the pocket type of quarterback really follow the rules old school guy and as he working his way through he uh one night he goes out to a bar after one of the games he starts and he meets who will turn out to be his future wife Anna Paquin line dancing and you know Kurt Warner doesn't like country music that much and, and he doesn't know how to line dance so he, he gets his friend uh the brother that was in Jumanji I forget his name he he's his best friend and no he does not just reappear and disappear in the film as some black characters do but he is a side character to the story and as he gets out of college he goes to make tryouts for the NFL teams he goes to Green Bay it doesn't work out because he doesn't step up and take his opportunity he does go back to uh, Iowa he works at a, a grocery store chain and he's back in groceries he him and Anna Packman go out on a few dates they, she starts talking about her life, how she was marine, how she has this kid, these two kids, and and one of them is disabled, one of them is, and the other one is just a, a normal girl. And not to say that disabled isn't normal, but still, uh, the kid is blind, and Kurt finds it out the hard way because he goes to her house and tries to, you know, ask for a number, and he, uh, the kid Zach, who's the blind kid, opens the door and just lets him in, which is, you know, you kind of don't want to let strangers in the house, but he was a sweet kid. It was a sweet point. It wasn't too sappy. It was just right enough kind of heartfelt drama. And they start to make this commitment to each other. And then um, once they start to move towards their lives, uh, her parents move out back down to Arkansas and they have to fend for themselves now. And then, you know, one day they're at a diner and Bruce McGill walks in, who is the head of the Iowa Barnstormers, who's this AFL team. And Kurt Warner is opposed to it. He doesn't want to be in the AFL, the Arena League. He thinks this is a joke, it's a circus, but it's the only chance he got. So, so finally, after warming up to it, he, he gets talked into it. He plays for the Iowa Barnstormers and he starts to play very well. And then him and Brenda, aka Anna Paquin, come to a head because she tries to show up to a game as a surprise and, and can't. And for some 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 reason she loses Zach and then that scares her and she wants to break up with him but then she goes back because Brenda calls uh Kurt Warner aka Zachary Laylock because her parents got killed in a tornado accident in Arkansas so that kind of brings him back together and he goes on his ascension back to the NFL he gets a call up from a scout who saw him at the Arena Bowl NFL Rams NFL St Louis Rams and the guy uh, Dennis Quay plays uh. Uh, Dick Vermeil does a great job. They got an actor to play Isaac Bruce, who did he did a pretty cool job for just a little scenes that he was in. Kurt Warner gets his shot. Uh, the guy who played Mark Mark Smith's the uh, office coordinator, he did a good job. I don't know his name; I have to type it in the description. But it, it goes on that magical season of that nineteen ninety nine season after six years of being out of college, being an old rookie and leading this team to a championship and winning the championship Super Bowl. It was a pretty good movie. And I do recommend it. Maybe not in the theater, maybe on streaming. And that's it for me. Thanks, guys.